Hey, welcome back to my channel. So, anyways, we're sitting here in the uh, wonderfully organized and dirty basement, as you see, which is my uh, recording studio. Um, I have pulled the, the the door off of the furnace so it doesn't keep on running, so that way it's kind of quiet. I have shoved my dogs outside, so hopefully they'll be somewhat quiet. They'll probably start making a bunch of noise. But anyways, so today's video is going to be on this wonderful thing I bought at... Um, it was a truck stop. I think it was Flying J. Anyways, bought this at... I think it was Flying J. Or it might have been a Loves. Might have been a Loves. I don't know. One of them. Let's see if it has a price tag actually on it. Maybe. It doesn't. But this is sold to truckers, basically. This right here. See it? Look at this thing. This is... This is amazing. This is the um, plug and play for ages 5 plus. This is Dream Gear. Dream Gear. Um, it says connects directly to your TV. No console required. And then it says 140 different video games built in, which we all kind of know those are like 8-bit knockoff games and stuff. But let, hey, hey, let's see if they're any good. Um, loaded with 140 different video games. I'll be curious if they're actually all different. Um, for hours of fun. Exclamation mark. So anyways, the plug and play. Let's see here. Let's read what it says. It, it's got, it doesn't list any of the games. It does list combat, shooting, sports, racing, action, puzzles, and much more. So, I mean, th this is all in actually like good English. There's a reason for that. Dream Gear, Dream Gear LLC is from Torrance, California. That's who makes this. Is a company in Torrance, California. Um, one thing that is kind of crazy, though, it says California Prop 65 warning, which uh, I live in Colorado, so I don't know what that is, but it says this product contains chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer and or birth defects or other reproductive harm. Yeah, reproductive harm and cancer. Okay, so, um, yeah, the plug and play. So we'll open this up. It's one of those joysticks. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hook this up old school style, to just like the CRT TV in the front and just I'm just gonna set up this camera and just videotape the screen. I'm, there's no reason for me to get out the video card and to hook this up to a computer and then do lay voice over all this or something. I mean, because guess what? There's no way this thing's gonna be good. So like I said, I think I think it was a Love's gas station. It could be a Flying J though. It was one of the bigger truck stops um, when you're on like I-70 and I think this was $30 somewhere around there. I think it was 30 bucks. I probably overpaid by about $25 for this. But um, anyways, we'll open it up and we'll give it a look. Fresh out of the box, as you see. I have a, I have a van and I do have TV that I'm probably going to put in my van. I might just buy another one, honestly. Because um, I've seen some at truck stops and stuff like that that they make like for cars and for truckers and stuff. And, I, you know, if this thing's decent, I might actually hook this thing up in the, in the, in the van so, you know, sit back there and play video games while somebody else is driving. But, uh, I don't know. All right, so here's what it looks like. Kind of. All right, they definitely use like an Xbox mold. Um, let's see here if there's any paperwork or anything. Oh, here we go. 140 and one user's guide. Main control, okay. There's nothing in that really. Um, Dream Gear, iSound, the new sound. Save a tree register online. For Dream Gear I Sound in making the eco-friendly choice to have all products registered online, this saves the printing of physical paper. Oh. So maybe they maybe Dream Gear's I Sound also. I don't know. I've never heard of it. But anyways, let's pull out this wonderful controller here. And I know I'll need three triple A's or double A's so here's the cord I can tell you oh man this plastic is cheap and cheesy oh I don't even know if you can see that I don't know if the camera will like f zoom in but look the plastic's even like all it's 
it's all like rubbed up and rubbed off and messed up and everything. So I'm guessing this is the on button. Yeah, it says on off. This plastic is, it's, I mean, this actually feels stronger plastic than this. If that tells you anything. Um, it's got like a, like a, like a joystick like you would have. And then it's got like a, one of those weird kind of D pads, but they're only on the left. And then it's got a B and two turbo buttons. And it says, you know, dream gear right there in the middle with, with a big gear. It kind of has the look of like the old school, like uh, Xbox one. Let's see what it says on the back. TUV zero four, whatever. Uh, it's made in China. I mean, I mean, kind of, we kind of knew that. Um, and it's number 592. So, you know, serial number 592. Uh, it'd been, how awesome would it have been if this was like number one right off the production line? Anyways, so we're going to hook this up to the TV and we're going to play some video games and see if this thing's any good. Okay, we're back. I'm going to turn it on. So, we got it hooked up. As you see, got the two RCA, you know, ports, which means quality at all times, always. You know, if you only get two of them. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay. So, here's the games. Howling Killer, Primitive Man, Racing Fighter, um, Wonder Rabbit, Extreme Rally, Magic, Highway Rider, Magic J J Yoni, so that's not Johnny, Magic Yoni, Aether Mission, Fishing Challenge, Dancer, Danger Bridge, Frantic Fishing, Brother Ball, Animal, An Animal Blockers, Road Worker, Wonder Ball, Wild Worm, Water pipe, war zone, toy factory, toad in the hole, all one word. Um, star spring, space space, sea wolf, seaport, sea amid, sea, sea maid. Okay, sea maid. Pong pong, police versus thief, police dog. We've had police dog on other things before. Right, let's just start out number one. Howling Killer. All right, let me adjust this real quick. This is like this Simba and Pumba. This like uh, Lion King. That's what I think this is. It's really hard to see though with the. Except for there's like dinosaurs. I don't know. In Lion King, was there dinosaurs? I think that's a dinosaur. I mean, I don't know. What is that? All right. Well. Rar. Grab onto ropes. Oh. Oh, that killed me. Oh, those things just kill you. Well, we're just gonna run. Run. No, we want that. Alright, this game does suck, but I mean, it's playable. Alright, so we're gonna hit the reset button. Howling Killer, so that was Howling Killer. Let's see what Primitive Man is. Start. Thank you. 
I'm gonna tell you right now, you push the button and then it's like three seconds later he jumps. And I guess I'm Prune Demand is not very fast. And he's got a giant nose. And good luck hitting anything. This game, okay, this game is impossible to play. That game is atrocious. You hit the button, and it, like, no hit detection. You hit the button, things go all wonky, so. Wait, 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 wait. Racing Fighter. Okay, that was the name of the game. Racing Fighter. Now, this game is actually kind of, uh, if I could not hit people, this game would actually be kind of enjoyable. Racing fighter. All right, let. Oh wait, let's see what magic Yoni is. Magic Yoni. Because nutrition sucked by the huge monsters, the green land is becoming to wasteland. Till one day, a little hero named Yoni. That I didn't hit any buttons. That just went that fast. jump or anything. Well, Magic Yoni is pretty fun, I'm telling you. Woo. This is... Adventures galore here. And if you get even close... Yeah, okay. Magic Yoni sucks. <laughs> that was bad. Alright, let's, let's see what Toad in the Hole is. Toad in the hole is whack-a-mole. Got it. Bink, bink, bink. Oh no, a banana. To bink, bink. Okay. This game is boring as hell. All right. Toad in the hole is whack-a-mole. That's just randomly mouse snare. I don't know what I'm adjusting. Uh, we'll go 30. Oh. This is... Mind, this is like that mind breaker kind of game. Wow, this is fun. Alrighty. That game sucked. What was that one? That was, uh... Oh, we're back to the... It's the only bad thing too is with this is when you hit the reset button, it goes back um, all the way to one. I mean, I guess luckily there's only 140. Let's see if it even goes to 140. Let's see that first. Well, it does go to 140. All right. Wow. Um, here I'm gonna tilt the camera just so you can see what the bottom. Look at this guy. <laughs> I have the feeling this game sucks, so I'm not going to play this one. Because honestly, who wants to 
hey, 5 plus 5 equals 10. And uh, 1 plus 2 equals uh, 16. Oh, no, it equals 3. Yeah, there we go. This is so much fun. Oh, my gosh. And... <laughs> All right, so you can hit the, you can hit backwards though and go. So I mean, if you're picking in the '70s, it kind of sucks. You have to go all the way back. Black and white trash. Let's like, let's see what Ass Art is. I bet Ass Art is an amazing game. Ass Art. Oh yeah. This is exciting. Uh oh. I fucked myself. I can't move now. Game over. Alright, let's try to figure this out, actually. Good. Oh, so you can destroy the rocks. Boy, this game's fun. Ass art is fun. Alrighty. Uh, we've seen this game before. Wee! Let's shoot these guys. Alright, so I'm curious because these ones always have like a fake Mario Brothers. Okay, what is this? This is Brother Ball. Brother Ball. Whee! Help me. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh! Whee! There you go. This game, I have the feeling, would be really fun. Brother Ball would be fun if you were, like, six. That That's probably about the age range of that game. I, I am curious what an, animal blockers... Animal? So they just misspelled it. It's animal blockers. Oh, it's Mahjong. Okay. Never mind. But... Space Space, Sea Wolf, River Jump, Mouse Snare. What's Octopus? Oh, Octopus. I I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, Octopus sucks. <laughs> I'm not even going to keep on playing that one. Island, um... Aim Cruise. Everybody likes to aim cruise, huh? Well, oh my god, the music is horrible. Alright. That's enough of this. This is the Dream Gear. The 140 in 1 Dream Gear. As you can see, purchased, like I said, at like, uh... I'm sure it's at all the finest retail establishments like Flying J and 
and loves truck stop and probably an ace hardware near you um if if uh, uh you know there's probably there's probably some other places you can probably maybe the dollar store or something like that you can find this at anyways like i said this is the 140 and one plug and play dream gear so i hope you enjoyed my video please like and subscribe all that fun stuff